Hello everyone. I'm a cloud computer engineering from China Mobile, and my name is Li Hao. And uh, I engaged in OpenStack development and maintenance more than two years. And today, I would like to talk about something uh, uh, about China Mobile cloud computing and the architecture and uh, optimization on 1,000 node cluster in China Mobile. I will talk the topic from four aspects. First, I want to talk about the practice of OpenStack in China Mobile. I will introduce the plan China Mobile in the public key, a uh, public cloud and uh, private cloud, and uh, introduce the progress of building OpenStack source pool. Second, I hope to introduce the architecture and the deployment of China Mobile's public cloud. I will show you the topological graph and a lot of details of the top topology and the tools we used to develop the OpenStack. Third, I would like to share with you what we have done and uh, optimized in the process of deploying a thousand node OpenStack cluster. I will analyze almost all the computer uh, OpenStack components and introduce the optimization of every component. At last, I will introduce the uh, um, joint test of our public cloud. The test is uh, worked by China Mobile and uh, Intel. The main purpose of the test is to analysis which state is the most time consuming in the process of create, creating a uh, virtual machine. And uh, at that time, after we optimize the bottlenecks of system, or in other words, the most time consuming steps to what extent the performance of the whole system is uh, improved. As I mentioned earlier, in the construction of cloud computing, China Mobile has spent a lot of human and financial resource. Now we have one public cloud with two ports and one private cloud with two ports. The public cloud ports located at Guangzhou in the, no, uh, in the south of China and the Beijing, the capital of China. Both the ports has about 100, uh, 1,000 nodes. Guangzhou Pool has 600 NOAA computer nodes and 13 controller nodes. Other nodes contains 115 object uh, storage node and 115 uh, block storage node. And we also have 17 NFE SDN nodes. The number of the nodes deployed in Beijing and uh, Guangzhou uh, rapidly same. Our public cloud is online now. You can visit the website ecloud.1086.cn. E uh, okay. Our private cloud has two ports. Each port will have 3,000 nodes. Two resource ports are located in Harbin, northeast of China, and the uh, Huahaozhe, north China. We hope, the, we hope in the middle of the 2017, our private, our private cloud uh, can be online. By the way, in Harbin resource port, 3,000 nodes are all bare metal nodes. We will use Ironical to manage them. Perhaps uh, by the time um, it is the largest uh, Ironical cluster. <laughs> yeah.
public cloud topological graph. Now I will introduce the architecture and the deployment of China Mobile. Let me let us look at the graph. First, we have three network isolated zone: the DMZ zone, the call zone, and the product production zone. The left is the DMZ zone. DMZ zone can be visited from internet. We deployed the Nova, NovaNC proxy, and the HA proxy keep live in this zone. The middle of the picture is call zone. We deployed a controlling node. For example, Nova API, Cinder API, and uh, Keystone in this room. And the right is a production room, about 600 compute, computer nodes, and uh, 115 block, block storage node and 115 object storage node are in this room. And also, Glance API and uh, Cinder volume is in production room. Second, every physical machine in our public cloud has six NICs. Every two NICs do bound. So we have three bound, management bound, business bound, storage bound. Traffic in the core room is through business network. And the traffic between the core room and the DMZ room is uh, through the MGMT or manager network. Traffic from call zone and the production zone can also uh, can only pass through the management network. The traffic between VMs and the VM visit and the VM visit internet is through the business network. And the traffic from VM to block storage and object storage is through storage network. Third, the single volume use Sheepdog and IPSAN as a backend. Sheepsan, uh, Sheepdog and IPSAN is deployed in the production zone, so single volume must be also in production zone. Glance API use safe as backend. And the safe is also deployed in production rule. So Glance API uh, also in the production rule. The last, every OpenStack service is deployed on three to five physical machines. We have HA proxy and uh, keep alive to do load balance. We deployed two MySQL Galera cluster. One is for Noki as a data, uh, as database for uh, index. One for other component. Uh, in this slide, I will introduce some details of the topology. Horizontally expanded service. Horizontally, horizontal ex extension of the code service, it means uh, we de deploy the uh, six keystone because we think three keystone is not enough for us, so we can deploy more. And we use the HA proxy, keep alive LVS do load balances. So as a service should visit, uh, for example, keystone by the VIP, which is created by Keep Alive instead of visit one of the Keystone IP. Uh, so, uh, so there is no single point of failure, and we use five plus node to deploy the API gateway, and uh, each service reside on different track. It means. Uh, mm, a physical machine deployed a multi-service and each service resides on a different rack. So I think uh, this will ensure that the system is uh, highly robust. We also use availability zoom and uh, host aggregate 
in our public cloud. Computers are divided into many AZs. For example, NFA AZs, Big Data AZs, and uh, the default AZ, NOAA AZ. And we also use two host aggregates. One is Windows aggregate, and the other is uh, Linux. Because uh, we think the Windows VM and Linux should not be on the same machine because Windows license may charge in accordance with the number of physical machines which are running VMs. In our public cloud, we have two pools. Every pool is independent. They have their own OpenStack component like Keystone, Cinder, Neutron, Glance, Nova, uh, Sunlin, and uh, RabbitMQ. And uh, we don't use multi-region because we think our experience is about 500 computing nodes can be in a single region. Two in independent uh, OpenStack pool are controlled by China Mobile Resource Management Platform. We call it OP. The end user's information are sectionized in different uh, OpenStack pool. When users register a new uh, account through OP, OP will call Keystone REST API to every OpenStack pool. This will ensure the users is registered in both pool and the name, password, and information are all the same. But other resource is not centralized. For example, users' VMs, users' vRouter key pair is independent. And the most of the resource can't migrate between the two ports except the image resource. Now let me talk about the deployment tools and how to de uh, deploy a multi versions of OpenStack component. First, we use Ansible to deploy them because we think Ansible is very easy than Puppet or source stack. Some useful model is uh, share, copy, script, and uh, playbook. Our deployment is not automatical, but uh, is uh, semi-automatical. We write some script, like the pictures, to accomplish the deploy. Why we don't use PackStack or DVStack? I think PackStack can only deploy, deploy one single controller and one single network node, and the controller is not high availability. It is not suitable for big public cloud, and the DV stack is more flex, uh, flexible and fit for developers, but it's also not fit for a big public cloud. We have a problem in deploying the public key. Sunlin and uh, Noki has no kilo version. So we have to use high version for these two components, and the other component still use kilo version. We try to resolve the dependence of different uh, OpenStack version but we failed. At last, we think the deploy high version of OpenStack. Oh, sorry. Oh. In Docker, is a good idea. I will talk about the optimization on this slide and the following slides. 
we have three levels of opti optimizations. <coughs> Infrastructure op <coughs> optimization and uh, the middleware component optimization and the OpenStack component optimization. First, every physical machine has three bounds in active and back backhand mode. The business network and the storage network are separated to ensure the business traffic and the storage traffic are independent between each other. And the core service use SSD. For example, in FlexDB, we use SSD, SSD because I, we think this will make the date write and read faster than before. The traffic between the code zone and the production zone is through management network. The traffic in the code zone is through business network. This, this makes full use of the network resource. The optimization of uh, HA proxy keep alive the MariaDB gallery uh, RapidMQ, I will talk in next slide. Optimization of middleware components. For RapidMQ, we increase the RapidMQ connection pool and add a heartbeat check and the function of, and we add the function of auto health and we increase the open files for RapidMQ. And for HA proxy, we configure reasonable number of HA proxy process and uh, strength, uh, strengthen the detection of backend service. For the keep alive, we enhance the exception handling for keep alive and uh, added the exception handling for nix when the if the nix uh, nix in keep alive um, is down the script will try to restart the nix and uh, for my circle we increase the max connection pool the default pool, default volume is too small. And we solve the uh, MySQL data log problems. We all know the MySQL gallery's mode is active and active. When no API receive more than one request, maybe MySQL A serves the request one and MySQL B serves the request two. The request one locks the table A and want to write the table B and the request two, log the table B and want to write the table A. So maybe the deadlock occurs. We configure the HA proxy, makes the MySQL gallery from active active to active backup. So the situation will not occur anymore. Nova optimization, profile optimization. First, we increase the max pool size and the number of workers and the scheduler host subnet size to increase the concurrency ability for Nova. And we use a reasonable ratio of CPU, disk, and the memory to increase the number of the running VMs in dependent machine. We also use more scheduler filter to complete uh, precise scheduling. And we use config drive instead of metadata server because we think uh, the metadata server is not uh, robust. And we developed uh, some Nova new features 
like change VM's secret and uh, change the VM's host name and uh, execute the command in the VM through the NOAA API. And uh, we optimize the, um, the code of uh, volume touch and uh, volume detach. And we have a practice, practice optimization. All the images are cached on each computer node. Uh, we can do these things like specify the physical machine to create all kinds of VMs in one physical machine. Then the path via log nova based has all VM image cache. Then we transport the image cache from, uh, from the physical machine to all the other NOVA computer nodes, and then create a VM in any of the NOVA computer nodes where no need to download the image. Greatly speed up, speeding up the a VM provision. This is our um, practical optimization. <coughs> optimization for neutron. Profile optimization. We increase the workers and we increase the database connections and uh, <coughs> accelerate the restart of OVS agent. Mm. We can see the relay test. Uh, we create a network, we create a subnet, we create uh, routers. Concurrent is uh, 1000 and, uh, the, and all the test is a success. And in this slide, I will, we will solve the restart OVS agent is, is very slow. We are uh, using the OVS OF control and the OVS VS uh, OF control to distribute the flow table and configure OVS port. OVS DB port is time consuming. An uh, average of 0.54 seconds to configure one flow table when in large scale will be very slow. Let's look at the table. Um, when uh, uh, restart OVS agent in Nova Compute need 15 minutes. This is too long. So we change the neutron code, restart OVS agent. First, we stop distributing the duplicate flow table. And second, we make the code of restart OVS agent from single thread to concurrency process. Third, we do not delete the port and the float and the float table when restart. And the first, the local controller is used and the float table is delivered through the local controller RYU. After the optimization, the recovery time reduced to seven minutes. Optimization of monitoring. First, we use Cellometer Noki Influx DB instead of Cellometer and uh, MongoDB because in a large scale develop uh, in a large, large <coughs> in a large scale, Cellometer MongoDB is very slow when quite a sample of monitor data. After use Noki, the response of Query sample is in five seconds with 
10,000 VMs. And our monitoring system is also support OP for building and also support Selenium to do elastic structure. Uh, now I have a brief introduction to China Mobile's monitoring architecture. First, Selometer agent sends the monitoring data to Selometer collector through the LVS, and the Selometer collector will transform the data and uh, send the send them to Noki uh, to store through the HA proxy. Noki Noki receives this data and uh, store the monitor data index to my circle gallery and uh, store the entities to influx DB. Uh, this is uh, the brief introduced to our China Mobile's uh, monitoring architecture. And uh, the optimization of Cinder, profile optimization. In our public cloud, we, uh, Cinder, uh, we use Cinder, and uh, our Cinder support Sheepdog cluster and uh, IPSAN cluster at the same time. And uh, we add the heartbeat timeout uh, uh, threshold parameters for bidirectional heartbeat check. And we also modify parameters provision the capacity put a reasonable ratio of volume capacity size and uh, expand the OS API max limit volume to increase the number of entries displayed. And we also configure rate a reasonable QS to limit the IO of each volume. Uh, second, the high availability optimization. multi single volume are, con are configured with the same host and we use the pacemaker to manage multi single volume cluster. So at the same time, only one single volume is up and others, is, others are down. When the active single volume is crashed, pacemaker will restart it. If, if it can't restart for many times, pacemaker will start uh, another Cinder volume. And the Cinder API's high ability is also use uh, HA proxy and uh, keep alive to do load balance. <coughs> Optimization of glance. Uh, China Mobile uh, has uh, developed some new features for Glance. For example, the images are shared across different pool. Uh, if I upload an image to Beijing pool, and the OP will synchronize the image to Guangzhou pool. So the images between the two pools are all the same. And we also developed a, a new function. Image can be downloaded by the download tools, for example, FlashGate and uh, WGate, because uh, we think the end users um, don't want to use Glance client to uh, download their image. Next. The practical optimization. First, we use uh, Glance API use image cache. We think the image cache may uh, increase the increase the uh, download speed. And uh, uh, we configured the Nova compute. 
the NOAA computer used glance by storage network uh, API uh, glance address instead of the uh, glance API's endpoint address. When user call NOVA image create command to backup its VM, NOVA computer will first make a full back of the VM's disk and then upload it to glance. By the default, NOVA computer will call the VIP of the glance, but it costs a lot of time. The traffic starts from the NOAA compute in the production room to the HA proxy in the core room. And then, the traffic is from the HA proxy to the glance in the production rules. At last, the Glance API will send the data to backend. If the NOAA computer can upload the image directly to Glance storage address, the time cost will be lower. The op optimization of case dawn, profile optimization, we use more workers and we run Keystone in HTTPD because we think uh, HTTPD has a, uh, is a good uh, is good for us than the normal Keystone, and uh, we use Fortnet token format than the uh, PKIZ format. Uh, here is an example. We have a a uh, comparative test for PKIZ and uh, Fortnet on 5,000 uh, concurrent. Each request uh, contains two processes. One is uh, get a token, and uh, the other is a verify the token. The left picture is the result of the PKIZ, and uh, the right picture is the result of the Fortnet. We can see the Fortnet has a uh, Less, less failure and uh, less cost of time. Now uh, we go to the first part. 100 node performance in this part. I will introduce the joint taste for our public cloud. The main purpose of the test is to determine which part is the bottleneck when boot a new volume in OpenStack. First, I want to introduce the method of the test or the technical of the test. The tests are in two phases. First, acquisition phase. Monkey patch the live system um, maybe we will insert the print log sentence for uh, in the most uh, important function, and then the OpenStack will produce logs with timestamp for analysis with minimal overhead. And the second phase, offline analysis, pass the collected log and the reconstructed concurrent request handling processes and uh, render rich statics. We can see the picture. The picture shows us the uh, elapsed, elapsed time stack acquired in different concurrency of uh, creating VMs. X, X access shows the different concurrency, and the y-axis shows the cost and the time-consuming uh, uh, ratio of different component. We test from five concurrent uh, requests to 2,000 uh, concurrency requests. The 
scheduler cost the most time during the instance provision. Uh, it's worse when the request pressure uh, increased. We will we will see the scheduler will be saturated at eight concurrent request. And I think uh, uh, the really is a black box profiling and uh, it uh, need constant uh, polling for intermediate state update, not ac accurate and powerful enough. But I think our test is a white box profiling. It has deeper insights into the OpenStack system without uh, excessive monitor overhead. And uh, the test is uh, state machine parsing because the analysis can enumerate all the successful or few uh, failure status of uh, every tracked uh, request and uh, replace the concurrent uh, provision process for later analysis. When the concurrency is uh, 2000, the throughput is 1.178 uh, requests per second, and the failure rate is up to 14.1.1. And the retry rate is up to uh, 26.3. Uh, this re result shows us that we meet some problem when concurrency is large. The right picture is the analysis of an individual request using state machine. We record every steps with stamps during the instance provision. If the request meet error, we will also record it. And the left picture shows us the failure reasons. For example, the neutron error creating port on network. Op uh, OpenStack optimization. Uh, in fact, we have solved the three root issues, database data logs, neutron port create failure, crystal authentication failures. So after we solve the problems or after the optimization I mentioned before, we can see the performance is improved a lot. The failure rate is from 25.7 to 0, and the retry rate is from 29 to 0 0.83, and the work clock is to 417 to 115 seconds, and the throughput is rise uh, from 1.3. Uh, uh, 13.1 to 4.35. And uh, thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Thank you very much.